Hi guys, another retro fan here for you. This is a dinky little Nokia 1611. Sorry, 611. 6111, I think it was. Um, so yeah, this was a cute little uh, fashion-focused, pocket-sized sliding phone uh, from back in the day. Uh, this one's in reasonably good nick for its age. But it's a chunky little thing, but it's designed to be a little palm-held, um, popular with the uh, feminine market. But uh, yeah, still reasonable for what it was so this came out in june 2005 uh was sold pretty much everywhere except for the united states so more you know, asia europe australia brazil and mexico not the us don't know why um so yeah uh, it's got bluetooth it's got edge 2g so it's like 2.5g i guess really so it's not quite 3g but it does not designed for any kind of massive web browser or anything um it's got a megapixel camera it says which basically means it's one megapixel if there's any more than that they advertise it uh it comes with nokia's series 40 third edition software um which is just their basic feature phone software i still use a version of that today i believe or a similar fork of it uh it's interesting for its sim card slot so the sim card slot is here behind the slide which used to throw a lot of people off and we have to show them in the phone shop uh, you've got a dedicated camera button on the side and volume buttons. You get lanyard strap that was uh, lanyard hole strap that was uh, really popular back then. The charging port, weirdly, is under a little flap at the top here. And you've got your power and you've got your pop, Nokia pop port for connecting data cables and other things and your headphones and stuff. And the little red button there that you push in, which is such a pain, and then pull the back off. Nokia had a really weird habit with some very bizarre back cover re removal designs, but. Actually, a little slimline battery and then there's nothing to go onto there because the sim card is in the uh, slide so um the battery being removed was just because batteries were removable back then really it almost looks like that's where they were going to put the sim card slot but uh that's quite possibly the heat sink for the um the cpu or something let's pop that all back together clips get together fairly nicely a uh, little power button at the top there it should have some charge in it No, it's gone flat already since I last used it, which was yesterday. The problem with these old phones, batteries do not last. There we go. Turn it on. Come on. I love that sound. Okay. Music files, we've got the music. Green Day, okay. Snow Patrol. Various, okay. Oh, there's a lot. I there's a lot of music, or is it scrolling around? Yeah, there's about six songs on there. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, let's just go to the ringtones. Just the Nokia tune. Little loudspeaker there, which I believe is where it's coming from. That we can tell because if I Yeah. <laughs> One tiny little speaker. Uh, which means it could do add a loudspeaker as well. Um, let's see what version of software are we running? We're running software from the 7th of February 2006. So, six months or so, seven months and a half this came out. So, yeah. They kept these up to date. Uh, should we see what the camera's like? If I close that. So, yeah. One megapixel, but it's still pretty much potato quality. Uh, I thought about it for a minute there, and they did take it. So, can we see the details? Details, there we go. Oh, that took it at 160 by 120. That's why it looks terrible. Someone's turned this right down. Probably because so pitch messaging at the time could only cope with around that resolution. 
So uh, let's go back, let's go to options. So yeah, when you're taking your pictures, if you wanted to send it by uh, picture message, you have to scale them down. There we go, let's put it up to a 1152 by 864. So the picture again. Yeah, and I mean, it still looks much the same, but if I then zoom in, yeah, it still looks terrible. Okay, so yeah, but that is the Nokia 6111. Uh, oh, screen actually, I meant to mention the screen as well. It's a uh, so the, the screen is 128 by 160. So, yeah, that's probably why those two pictures look exactly the same. And this is something I need to emphasize to customers all the time. It's like, what you can do with your photos, are you just going to look at them on your phone? In which case, you don't need a high quality camera because the screens did not match the quality of the cameras at the time. This is taking pictures a tenth of the size of the one megapixel sensor. So, it was irrelevant unless you're going to send them, which people didn't do much of back then. They mostly just showed them on their phones, other people and used them as wallpapers. But yeah, that's the Nokia 6111. Uh, more cool phones coming soon. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.